Welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. I'm so glad you're back. Today is another subscription box in our series over the next few months where we're doing the subscription boxes of all shapes and sizes, edible, creation, science, world, you know, everything I could have think of. Today we have the groovy lab in a box and it says in the box, science that grows with you. Now this is July's box and my first try with it. So let's see what we've got. So clip our big piece of tape here on the front. Ooh, oh, I'm trying to open it upside down. Oh, there you go. That's a more attractive front. Groovy lab in a box. All right. Shoo. Okay. So we've got uh, lessons in sound is what it says. This is our lab notebook. Lessons in sound. Wow. So learning about sound, investigating about sound, how it works, sound and pitch experiments. Vibrations, thickness in its relation to pitch, sound makers. Wow. So there's a lot of learning in this book. And this is like this month's book. This is Good Vibrations, all about sound and learning there. So we've got some materials. Looks like for making those sound makers. Yeah, so we've got some um, see, sound maker patterns as well as some blank sheets for making your own. And then holy mackerel, there's a lot of stuff here. So we've got really cool music themed pencils. So that'll be cool going back to school. Um, wooden stirrers and spoon, some Elmer's glue, a balloon, and some iodized salt in this package. We've got a few cups, some chopsticks, a paint stirrer stick, now we've got um, just some other things for our like a rubber bands, an elastic, Things for creating our sound makers and some balloons and that's everything in this month's box so um, loving that all of the necessary materials for your experiments are actually here right down to the cups and the iodized salt they really did think of everything I'm just gonna look here and make sure we don't have to supply anything else Looking at all of these experiments. Balloon, back to solid, duct tape. Wonder. No, so all of the experiments in this package have it has all the stuff you need to do it and then some. So loving that. I was gonna read just the inside here. It says, welcome to Groovy Lab in a Box. We're so excited for the creative discoveries you will find about yourself while thinking outside this groovy box. You will use science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, that's that STEM, to design and build your own musical instrument using the engineering process. Groovy note for grown-ups. Go to beyond dot 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 in a box portal. Beyondabox.com uses the password on the stop sign below to learn about the engineering process and STEM teams. Being able to work well in teams is a groovy skill for STEMists. So gather your STEM family for some groovy STEM friends and start engineering together. Each investigation activity will take about 45 minutes to an hour to complete. Groovy Lab in a Box will take about 8 to 12 hours total. So loving that um, this has so many activities in it in that each activity is going to be kind of in-depth. It's going to take you through the thought process, make you think about it. Um, and then you're getting that 8 to 12 hours of activity time broken up through a month. So by the time you finish one, you've got another one to start. And you've kind of always got that learning going and non-screen oriented play. 
So guys, my experience with Groovy Lab in the box, very interesting, very cool. I'm excited to see what you guys think if you've got that at home as well. Is it standing up to the eight to 12 hours? I can see that these um, activities, especially coupled with online supplement, would definitely take some time. And I think your kids will probably get quicker at it as they learn, which is the point. Um, but I do like that there's plenty to do in this box. It's not just like open it and then it's done like um, blind boxes can be. This is actually an activity. It's engaging. It's learning. And it's doing it in a way that passes the time without using screens, which I love. I would give this one probably a 7. Um, it's going to be for a little older age group because there's just, you're not going to get the attention to detail and the attention span that you'll be looking for with this box particular um, in a really young age group, early grade school or uh, pre-K or, any, or uh, elementary, I should say, or anything like that. Your preschoolers are not going to be into something like this. It's just a little bit too in-depth. This is going to be for your older grade school students, um, junior high even. This would be really neat and a way to kind of bring everybody together, work on a project, and instead of sitting in front of the TV. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it and learning about my first experience about Groovy Lab in a Box. I cannot wait to see what August brings. So if you want to be here with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Giving us two thumbs up, always appreciated. I always like to see that from you guys as well as comments below. Anything in particular that you like about this box or dislike, I'd love to hear. And keep checking back at ToyNotes.com where I'm keeping up on all top 2017 toys just for y'all. Until next time, bye.